What's up guys? It's uh, Prime Temptation and Wilson here. Today we're going to be um, talking about the state of Fortnite and um, like the new update. Um, today there was an update and brought a lot of new things. Um, the new flare gun and a lot of other fun things that we can talk about a little later. But first yep. we're going to talk about the um, changes from Chapter 2, Season 2 of Fortnite and and how what like pros and cons were of that season and how Fortnite Epic Games like changed everything and made it a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. So, I mean, it's not just last season, but seasons yeah. in the past in general, uh starting around like season X when stuff kind of went the wrong way, stuff went south. I mean, the skill-based matchmaking has been an issue. Uh, in the game for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's like it's just never been fun. It's it turned it turned arena into normal solos because they they were the same thing except one gave you points and the other didn't. Yeah. Because both of them were putting you in a certain skill category, um, and it just it wasn't fun anymore because you didn't have those awesome uh, moments where you would run into some noob in a one v one and you could troll him. And, like, it kind of ruined the careers of C-Day mm -hmm. and Fearless because they could no longer just mm -hmm. hang out with bots. Yeah. And, yeah. And, like, making, like, the, you know how they made, like, the funny moments videos, yeah, exactly. all that? They couldn't really make those anymore because um, there were no more funny moments. It was Exactly. It was just, you know, if you were a good player, you're going up against good players, arena or not. There's a wasp. There's a wasp. <laughs> it's a little sketch, not going to lie. Oh, it's on my leg. I probably shouldn't have picked this shirt, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, another thing that Wilson wants to talk about is... The lack of transportation mm -hmm. um, in last season and throughout uh, Chapter 2, coming up to this season. This season's a lot better. But uh, they just, they didn't have much. Mm -hmm. Last season, they did add, in their one update in all of last season, they added crash pads and they added the Kingsman as part of a crossover, but it was taken out about a month later. Yeah. Um, it wasn't really transportation, but the crash pads were. Uh, you could only carry six. Uh, they didn't take you that far, and there weren't many vehicles besides boats. And helicopters. And, and helicopters near the end of the season that were added. Mm -hmm. But it, it just, there was still a lack of transportation, and since there were only specific boat spawns, boats and helicopter spawns, mm -hmm. like there were only, I think, five or six helicopter spawns Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I think there were eight yes. uh, helicopter spawns eight right. throughout the entire map. And then the boats don't really do much, it turns yeah. out. Uh, since it, since yeah. the water wasn't, like, exactly. like fully, it, it was, there was not that much, there was not that much water, so it was a lot yeah. harder for exactly. um, the boats to be actually used. So that was a big problem. Um, another thing that I think Wilson wants to talk about is... Yeah. Um, Controller aim. Con like aim assist and all of that. Yeah. That's a that's a bigger topic. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's two sides to that. Um, me and him both playing on controller and on Xbox uh, as of recently. Well, he's switching now yeah, over yeah. to PC. But I think uh, it. I mean, that's a topic for another video. That's a very large topic. Yeah. Um, yeah. But just in previous seasons, the damage on ARs, SMGs, and even shotguns was a little too much mm -hmm. um, and it was very easy for if someone were to get into uh, your box with an SMG there's mm -hmm. no way you win that fight yeah um, because you know if you're hitting someone in the head with a green SMG for 39 damage yeah um, there's really just no way you can win when they can hit you for 39 eight times before you can pull out your shotgun yeah so it's it's just there's um, no I reason to that yeah I agree I think the aim assist deserved a nerf but i think not as big as they not as big as they did to be completely honest mm -hmm. like being a controller player obviously i probably sound biased right now but i think pc and keyboard and mouse have their pluses building editing, editing it's like extremely easy mm -hmm. as for on yeah. controller aiming is and i think there's has to be like a little balance exactly because it's and I've seen, I've seen him, he just got on PC like yesterday, and his editing's already uh, as good or even better than mine. And I've been editing for two years, mm -hmm. and he just started on PC. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of, it just seems a little... OP. OP. Especially to nerf aim assist into the ground, 
they nerfed in all four of their updates in the past two seasons before this one. They were nerfing aim assist. Mm -hmm. and, just more and more. Yeah, and each time, some were slight, and some of them were just nerfing PC controller aim assist, where if you have a controller on a PC, but um, it, it just, it really didn't affect, in my opinion, PC players uh, just wanted a change because they were tired of getting SMG'd into their box, which I think last season, which takes us to our new topic, the mythic weapons, mm -hmm. last season, they were, all of the, yeah, yeah, they they were, were so overpowered. Like So good. They were uh -huh. all spam weapons besides the boombo. They were all just, like, the minigun, the tommy gun, the scar. They were all just, like, so focused on... They were all focused on uh, spraying into someone's box and just destroying their game. Uh -huh. And so, with controller aim, building isn't going to do anything against the mi mythic minigun. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And so, aim assist is way better, or it was last season, than... Uh, PC players because uh -huh. building and editing won't do you that much against a mythic minigun, um, and so I think it wasn't the PC aim that was the pro or the controller aim that was the problem last season. I think it was the amount of spray weapons in the meta, uh -huh. and just four out of the five mythic items uh, were spray weapons, and I think this season they changed that, and I yeah. think it it was a better change, and I mm -hmm. think we're in a like a a mid mid ground now. I yeah. Think, I think controller aim still needs a slight buff because I can now it's like a 75 25% chance that I die to marauders because they have better aim than I do. <laughs> so I can't take a standoff against marauders. I have to get like weird yeah. charge shotgun angles. Yeah. Um speaking about marauders, um yeah. they have been buffed. Well, I mean like obviously their aim hasn't been buffed because yeah. they're better at aiming than actually a lot of players. They're like basically um cracked um pc players or pa like Control sorry uh cracked bots yeah um so the new the new um drop uh is now 54 light ammo which before it was 18 30 medium ammo before it was 10 18 heavy ammo before it was 6 12 shotgun shells but which was four before and then there are like bigger chances of like dropping better things better items 50 there's now a 50 percent chance for three stinks now uh, it used to be 25 percent 20 percent for a med kit um it used to be 60 so they they nerfed they the nerfed heal. the med kit they nerfed the heals because it, i think it used to be 75 for bandages and now it's 50 but let's be honest who uses bandages yeah yeah um besides like when it's the only heal you can get and you're yeah. low or whatever um and then 50 uh percent uh, like drop rate for uh, two chug splashes. It used to be twenty percent, wow. and thir and this is the new one. It used to be um, twenty percent for fi three fireflies, and now it's thirty. And you used to like twenty percent, obviously thirty percent and twenty percent are frankly kind of low. Yeah. But I think nobody really uses fireflies no anyway. Cares. Nobody cares Let's about fireflies. Yeah. And I think the Marauders. Uh, it used to be that you it wasn't worth fighting them because uh -huh. you would waste more yeah. ammo than you would get. Yeah. And you would lose more health than you would get. And so it just wasn't a worth it wasn't worth it, wasn't it to worth. fight them. Especially yeah. when they nerfed the drop rate of RPGs uh -huh. and stinks. They at first it was at like a uh, a thirty percent chance of a stink, thirty percent of an RPG. But they nerfed it down to I think it was a uh -huh. ten percent of both. And I think now you can't even get RPGs anymore from them. No, nope, you cannot. Um, which is I mean I it, think it's necessary because yeah, they were yeah. very, very good, and uh -huh. they still are. Uh -huh, because sometimes, I guess some sometimes they had, um, I believe it was two uh, rocket launchers. Like there was a chance of having two, and being like double RPG'd from not an actual player was just like so irritating and annoying. Yeah. it was just not fun. Yeah. It was not worth it. And since in um, chapter two, season two, there wasn't that much transportation. Once they, like, you know, they latch onto you unless you, like, get a launch pad or whatever. So if you yeah. didn't have a launch pad or a, or the grappler, you basic or sorry, um, thinking... Kits? Kits. Yeah, if you didn't have, sorry, kits, shockwave or whatever, you couldn't, you can't really get away from them. Yeah. But, um, obviously there's more, um, transportation now, but I think I, at least me, I would still prefer more transportation. Yeah, and since, I mean, the Marauders were, came into the game at the same time of the new 
uh, mythics, so there was some transportation. Mm -hmm. But still, if you're using a grapple and you're gliding and there's seven marauders shooting at you, you're gonna die. Yeah, like, yeah. It was, it, uh, for some people, uh, it wasn't as bad because they, they knew how to fight against them, but when in the first few days, um, they, they're, you, in the end game, you could have like seven or eight groups of marauders that nobody wanted to fight because they were scared of how powerful they were because they can see you from 100 meters away and then they can take hunting rifle shots at you and they have pretty good aim. Like, I remember I watched Cypher PK's first video of the season and he was seeing these marauders running around. He was like, hey, look at them. And one of them sniped him the first, like, he got <laughs> yeah. the exclamation point, yeah. 86 damage, and then he died. And yeah. it's just... Like, it was hard to fight against. Uh huh. Uh huh. So actually, going back to the um, aim assist and all of that, um, like the spam weapons, SMGs have now been nerfed due to the recent update. Um, mm -hmm. Like common okay. and uncommon do 16 and 17 damage. I think it goes 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Yeah, yeah. And Throughout. they used to do 28 and 29 headshot so for a gray weapon. That's as good as almost. That's almost as good as a blue AR, which is yeah. kind of crazy. Because it and, shoots way quicker. Yeah. So, and the rare and the epic have um, are eighteen and nineteen, and they used to be thirty one and thirty three. Wow. Which is crazy. And then legendary that's is twenty. Body shot of a blue AR. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Um. I think that's crazy. What's it? Um. And then the fire rate is now um. 10.0 instead of 12.0, so it's that's a, a big... It, that's a, I mean, I think that's, frankly, kind of uh, larger than I think everybody expected, but yeah. in my opinion, I think it's... It makes sense to me, at least. So, But it's a... The fire rate went down a lot. And then the magazine of the Epic and Legendary SMG has been um, reduced to 35 bullets instead of 40. And it's not that big, but yeah, it's, still, it's it's a difference. It's, it's a, a difference. difference. It's a start. I think it doesn't need to be nerfed much more than that. Um, but keep in mind that the burst or the uh, rapid fire SMG was not nerfed, and I thought it was better before this. And I know that it definitely is now. Yeah. Uh, it, it's reload time is like one second. Mm -hmm. um, it deals one point four. Yeah, it deals more damage than the rapid fire. Uh, it deals more damage to the head than the rapid fire or than the uh, compact SMG. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it's just better on all fronts. Yeah. Uh, but the only way to get it is from side grading mm -hmm. or upgrading and then side yeah. grading. Yeah, so, the, so also the compact SMG, which is the one that you find from the henchmen's, um, have been changed. Has It hasn't been changed, but it, it's still 40 bullets in the magazine, so it's a lot better than the regular like so um, if you get, SMG from the, like, uh, you can get from chests and stuff. So it's like if you kill a henchman, you get an upgraded version. Ver you get a purple uh, compact that has the same damage and a higher and a higher fire rate and mm -hmm. a bigger magazine size yeah. than the gold. Mm -hmm. So it's like an upgraded version of the gold. Yeah, rapid. yeah. Even the purple is better than the um, mm -hmm. than the gold regular. And this is actually just new. The compact SMG from the henchman can now be side graded and upgraded, which yes. I think is big because rapid there fire. was a lot of confusion uh, for also for the rapid fire. There's there's a lot of confusion confusion between the um like the smg the real smg and the compact smg mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of been um figured out now so it doesn't really make sense to me at least why there's two different ones but they're now they're now the same except one's better yeah for, except for one's for better reason. um no. yeah because i guess you like for chests you just have to open them and for henchmen you actually yeah. have to kill them maybe that's why or something but mm -hmm. yeah um, and I, I think that uh, going back to things that were bad before this season, things that were not fun, uh, the loot pool in public and in arena matches were very boring. Uh, it, was, it was just the same type of loot every single game. You had an AR, you had a shotgun, either an attack or a pump, an SMG, mm -hmm. not really a sniper. If you're lucky, a heavy sniper, one of the mythic weapons, and some heals. Like, it was very boring. There wasn't a lot of excitement. Um, and the chances of getting a purple or legendary or a cool new weapon from a chest was very low. Most of the time you were getting green, blue pistols, green ARs, yeah. green tacks, uh, bandages, grenades. It was just, it was very boring. And uh -huh. I remember at the beginning of chapter two, season one, uh, you could just get fishing rods out of chests and yeah. that counted as your consumable. Uh -huh. And that was just like boring because yeah. you could get them everywhere. Yeah. And like harpoons are obviously better and yeah. Um, I think, 
adding on to the terrible loot pool of Chapter 2, Season 2, um, I was playing a game, and I opened, like, I think four or five different chests, and all I got was green and blue pistols. Yeah. I think that, like, I think just that shows how, like, limited the, like, chest, um, yeah. drops were for, like, chances. Like, you get a better chance of getting a, basically, like, a blue pistol than a gray AR. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, uh, also the shield distrib mm -hmm. distribution, it was very hard to get shields from chests. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a video I watched a few months ago, um, and it was about how, uh, Cypher PK opened seven different chests, he didn't get any shields, and then in his eighth chest, he got minis, and then he opened seven more chests, and then he got a big shield, and in all of those chests in between, he was getting fishing rods, grenades, bandages, med kits, uh -huh. no one cares about that, mm -hmm. just in the beginning of a game, in the middle of a game, in the end of the game, sometimes people didn't have shields still, and because they took out Siphon in normal games, um, and they kept it in Arena, which I think was a good touch. Yeah, that was a good decision. Um, I think, um... There's no, there wasn't any uh, shields besides minis and big shields. Yeah. Um, in the beginning of this chapter. Yeah. But they did add some this season, which we'll talk about in a second.